Prime the pill, tell me how to sleep. Hi everyone, Brightbone here, back with another episode of the Weekly Purple Team. And this week we're taking a look at an SSL AES reverse shell that's blowing by Defender. Now it's blowing by several EDRs, I'm not going to mention which ones, but it's still getting by a lot. And if you check out this virus total hash, you can see it's pretty green across the board. So this is SSL AES reverse shell by VIX. You just simply compile this, right? All I did was compile it and remove the comments and it started blowing by a bunch of EDRs once I did that. Now it does require some changes to the way that you do your compilation. You need to make sure you have the open SSL libraries and you need to make these changes that are in the file. It will tell you exactly what you need to do and then you can get this working on your own. But right now, blow in by EDRs that I've tested against. So let's check this out. We'll start with our Kali box over here. On our Kali box, I have the script and I'll do cat SSL server.py and we'll go pipe to more just so I can see the top of it. And you can see right here, we have host 0000, 000 port 443 and the attacker cert, you create a cert and then it will catch the shell, right? You do need PyCryptoDome. Once you have that, you can catch the shell and then we'll go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. We'll just run Python 3 SSL server.py and it's going to sit here and listen on 0000, 000 on port 443. Now you have to find a way to get the implant on the host. There's a lot of ways you could do that, but we'll take a look here. I did an encrypted zip file download. You can do an encrypted zip file download and extraction and run the executable. Defender is not saying a word on this. It's just not. Defender, as you can see right now, the only thing I have turned off is automatic sample submission. So real-time protection, dev drive protection, cloud delivery protection, and tamper protection all turned on. This is Windows 11 with the latest Defender signatures, and it is still getting by, as you'll be able to see in just a second. So I have a command prompt here. We're running as Bruce Banner. We're going to do our SSL reverse shell. We'll give it our IP, 192.168.138.30, and port 443 that we're listening on. And we hit go. Defender says nothing, and it says connected. So we now have a working shell. And as you can see, who am I works? Any command from cmd.exe will work. So you have your shell. Pretty cool, right? Not many of these get by Defender and EDRs this easily, but this one, it's been out here for 11 months now, and it's still going. So that's pretty rare. So take a look at this. All right, that's the red. Now for the blue, we're going to be using a little different SIM this week. We're going to be using something called logs.io. Logs.io is a SIM that uh, I use in my day job, and it's a open search based SIM, pretty good. But the reason we're doing this on logs.io is at the end of this video, if you want, I'm gonna release a detection as code pipeline for logs.io, some automation around SIM. We don't usually go that far, but we'll do the detection and then we'll do some automation around it. So let's start. This is what logs.io looks like, and I'm sorry for the white, but it is this way by default. I think there is a dark mode, let me see. Uh, yes, we'll put it in dark mode so I can save everyone's eyes. <laughs> but it is that white by default. Um, so now we're in dark mode. We're going to be looking for event ID 4688, which is process execution, or you can look for Sysmon. And the key we're going to look for is we're going to regex for the 192.168.138.30 and the port that we put in. So if we do this query right here, event code 4688, let me see if my mouse will behave. For some reason, it's bouncing around the screen. And we'll paste this in. And notice this regex, right? This is Lucene. So we're regexing for 0 to 9, 1 through 3. We're looking for that four times. So we're looking for four sets of numbers in a row on the command line. There's possible false positives here, but this is basically all that I could find, right? seeing process execution, you're seeing IP addresses put in in the command line, 
that's not that common to put in an IP address and port at the command line. So if we take a look at this and we run it, Let's see if it takes. I may have to change my time frame. There we go. And you can see SSL reverse shell.exe, and there's the port. We ran it twice. Cool. There's our rule. Well, this is great, but do you want to manually put rules into your sim? No, you don't. As purple teamers and detection engineers, we want to use something called detection as code. Detection as code allows you to use a CICD pipeline to manage your rule set. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to use a CICD pipeline to manage the rule set. Now, if I come over here to VS Code, I have my pipeline. And I have made a rule, SSL reverse shell cleaned JSON, that will put a rule into logs.io for this. As you can see, I've given it a title, I've given it a description, I've given it the query that we just had, the event code. I've given it tags. And this is the way that your detection engineering sh teams should be managing your sims. You should not be doing this by hand, not in today's day and age, right? You should have a detection as code pipeline. I'm going to release this code for logs.io after this video. So basically what we do is we can make sure our code is correct, and then we publish this to GitHub. GitHub then has a CI-CD workflow that works through and sends this on to logs.io as a new rule. So I will simply make a change to anything in this, uh, or I could do an empty commit, but I'll make a change to basically anything here in this rule. We'll go ahead and we'll pull out one of these miter tags. So I'll just pull this out and pull this field out just like that we'll back space it and we'll save it so i'm going to save this now come over here to vs code and then i'm going to enter a commit so i'm just going to do commit ssl rule now before i do that let's take a look at our rule set our rule set right here has nothing enabled zero so when we push this, you will see it enable. Now let me set this in dark mode too, so you guys aren't blinded. But let's make sure we can see it. And there you go. Nothing is here. So I'm going to go ahead and commit this. So we'll commit this SSL rule. We'll add this to it. We'll do commit. And we'll do sync changes. And what this does is it runs an action in GitHub. And in a minute or two, we should be able to do a refresh here and we should have a rule. I'll be sharing this code with the workflow after the video. If you use logs.io, you will have a detection as code pipeline. So let's go ahead and we'll refresh here. And there is our rule, SSL reverse shell. It's enabled. You can see there's our commands. Here is our number of logs over a period of time. There's our MITRE attack tag. Here's our scheduling. So as you can see, we definitely have a detection as code pipeline functional, right? So this is what you want to do with your detection engineering teams. As blue teamers and sim managers, you should not be building rules by hand. You should have detection as code. Then you can use GitHub, GitLab, these CI/CD pipelines to create and manage your rules. It gives you built-in fallback. If a rule goes crazy, you just roll it back and publish it again, right? And versioning, just like software development. So I understand that not many of you are probably running logs.io if you want one for Sentinel. I know Jason, this is uh, Jason Ostrom, another fellow SANS instructor. He has a pipeline in this AZ Sentinel queries repo that will do Azure Sentinel. If you use Elastic, Elastic has uh, their detection rules repo and they have one as well. Where you wanna check, you wanna go into GitHub, and then you look for workflow. And if you see workflows in there, there's your action workflows that you can set up. So check these out. Detection as code, very, very important for blue team. It allows you to move faster. It allows you to move faster than the adversary. 
If you can create that query, you can push it to a repo and push it to all your sims. When you find things like we did from the red team, you can now move faster as the blue team. Whoever moves fastest wins, right? And that's it for this week. Look for the published code in the video comments. There will be a logs.io pipeline that I'm publishing for that particular sim because that's one that I just didn't see many people um, having a detection as code pipeline for. And uh, please like and subscribe and hack the planet to defend better.